Hi everyone, so I just got done reading a couple chapters of the Bible, and usually I will read them, um, read the Bible when I wake up in the morning, but I actually decided to go grocery shopping at 6.30am. I got no shirt. <laughs> and you may be wondering why I went so early in the morning to go grocery shopping, and that is just because... Oh my God. And that is because I wanted to beat, like, the afternoon rush. I feel like since all this craziness with the coronavirus is popping up, a lot of, like, the grocery store has been really crowded with people, like, just being prepared, you know? With people just being prepared, so I wanted to get grocery shopping done really early. And so now I feel like my whole entire routine is just kind of off. And... Another reason why my routine is off is because I've been gone from the house for three days. Well, not completely gone. Like, we would be gone just during the day and then come home and go to bed. But I notice, it's just like I'm, I just feel off on routine since we've been gone. And today is just sort of a catch-up day. Right, Eli? <laughs> it's on me now. So, yeah, I just got done reading... Two chapters, of, two chapters of the Bible, so I'm feeling really good. Prayed a little bit. Feeling the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Just the peace and joy of God. I just did a really a really simple makeup look because sometimes when I'm feeling in a rut I'll just do quick makeup and then I don't know it helps me feel more presentable I'm in the bathroom right now and that is Eli's picture he drew and we just hang it up in the ba we I can't talk we just hanged it up in the bathroom just for fun <laughs> so it's been up there for like like a year so it looks kind of silly but it's our uh, homemade decor. Yeah, so this is on the bathroom wall. <laughs> so that's some like artwork of a three year old. Half of it is still wet. <laughs> me booby <laughs> so right now fold in some laundry and Jameson is sleeping I finished all of the clothes, and those are things I just throw in drawers. <laughs> yeah, I get off the bed, and when Jameson wakes up, I'll have to put them away then. Focus, camera. Okay, so, why I always start off my clips with the saying, okay, but as you can tell, my hair is bugging me today. It always feels so heavy when I put it up in a ponytail. But right now, Jameson just woke up, and I put away... Is it just me or is the lights like flickering in here? It looks like it's flickering. It's so weird. Huh. Okay. 
I went ahead and I just turned off the lights because I felt like they're flickering for some reason. But right now, or just a couple minutes ago, I went ahead, I put away all that laundry, and I also put away some cloth diaper laundry. And the boys, I'm letting them watch a show while I cook dinner. And it's only it's only 347. But I wanna I want to like cook dinner right now so I can show you guys what I'm cooking and show you this recipe that I wanna I've I always make it like all the time. Like I probably make it like two or three times out of the month just because it's so easy and it tastes really good and I can cook it like in 20 minutes but I wanted to go ahead and film it for you or like vlog it for, for you guys right now why no one is home because it's just me and the boys and I feel embarrassed filming myself so this is all the ingredients um, it's basically just a ground beef cabbage stir fry and I make it all the time because it's really good and it's so easy. And so I got ground beef. You can add more like ground beef or less ground beef depending on how big your family is. I'm going to do two pounds. I like this recipe because it's really good as leftovers too. So I have two pounds, one cabbage. And it's really inexpensive. Like, like cabbage is, this cabbage is a dollar. Some rice, onion, garlic. I mean the only thing that's kind of more expensive is the meat. Liquid aminos, this is the soy sauce alternative. This is for the very end, the ch sweet chili sauce. And I will also add like salt and pepper to it as well. So I'm using a rice cooker and I'm gonna do three cups of rice and I'm first gonna rinse it off. And if there's leftover rice, because there will be leftover rice, I will use that leftover rice to make just stir fried rice so I don't waste the rice. I go ahead and rinse all this rice off. So while the meat is browning, I'm going to cut up the onion and the cabbage. And the onion, I don't dice, I'm just gonna slice it so it's like little like long pieces, does that make sense? I will sometimes put in bell pepper in this recipe, again, just sliced. And usually I will do red bell pepper, but it doesn't matter what kind of bell pepper you uh, use. So yeah, I'm gonna cut up this and in between cutting up this, I'm going to go and like stir up the meat. So I'm just using one of these bigger kind of pots. And I also, since this is stainless steel, I went ahead and I put uh, some avocado oil in at the bottom so that the meat would stick less because when the fat is coming out it tends to like stick to this pan but if you had like a non-stick pan then you wouldn't need to add the extra oil but since I don't know I figured av extra avocado oil doesn't hurt if you want this meal to be a lot faster cooking wise you can go ahead and get the pre-cut up cabbage which it's already like sliced and it's just in a bag but I just get that, I used to get that one, I think they're like a dollar a bag, but then I started to get this one just because it's organic. I figured extra work for organic would be better, but that's just my opinion. But do what you think is good for your family. I also just threw in the onion right now, and as you can see, it's like, just kind of like stringy pieces, because I like it like that, but do it how you want. And then I put in four cloves of garlic mice in here. So one more ingredient that I forgot to mention was cornstarch. You'll need cornstarch, but I guess you don't have to have it, but I put cornstarch in there. And also, my hair is just bugging me. I keep saying that. Jameson wants to see what's going on. Jameson, come here. That's just cornstarch. And also, I got this recipe from allrecipes.com. But you can honestly make this your own recipe. You can put in mushrooms, you can put in zucchini, whatever vegetable you want, and it will still be really good, I think. So I didn't add all the cabbage in, but this will definitely cook down, and that's the rest of the cabbage left. I have some cornstarch right here, and this is two teaspoons cornstarch and about, I want to say two cups of water, and I'm just going to dump it right in. And it will kind of make like a sauce. And then you take your liquid aminos and you just dump it in as much as you want it's basically just like preferences 
to your taste. <laughs> so you can add pepper to this if you want. I want to say add about a teaspoon of pepper and salt. So this is what it ends up looking like. This is a super basic meal, but it's really easy to do and it's simple. It tastes really good like every single time I make it. So yeah, I'm going to close off. The camera is focusing like right here. Come up here. Come up here. So I'm going to go ahead and close off this vlog right here. Thank you for watching this short little vlog plus this recipe video. And if you enjoyed this content, then please subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Okay, bye. Mm, I can reach Say hi. Hi, I'm eating Cheetos. I know you're eating Cheetos. So when Eli was done eating his bowl of food, which is right there, he decided to eat some Cheetos and he climbed on top of the fridge where they were hiding and he got Cheetos for him and Jameson, which we normally don't have Cheetos around here, but the Cheetos are leftovers from our birthday party. But I wanted the kids to say bye. Bye. Jamie, say bye. Jameson, bye. It's not focusing on you. Bye. Say bye Cheeto hands. Bye poopy hands. Bye. Mm -mm.